Here's a little trick I found that if you want to reduce your refrigerator costs, a lot of time it's due to, as in mine, this is an old Kenmore, uh, probably about 16 so years old. Uh, it's an Energy Hog 1 and 2. Um, the filter get dirty uh, fairly quickly because it runs a lot. So what I found is um, if you put in a little foam air filter behind the grill here, this is the air intake, um, you can block a lot of that uh, dust and debris that kind of gets filtered in through the refrigerator coils and gets them dirty and makes it less efficient. So they run hotter and therefore the compressor has to run longer to cool the refrigerator. So I'll show you uh, basically uh, what I did. So this is a screenshot of the back of the refrigerator, obviously the fans in the back here. And this is probably, if you look around, it's kind of dusty and dirty around the sides. And that's pretty much the result of 13 to 16 years of, you know, all the crap building up back there before I started putting the filter on. So the filter definitely helps. So I stumbled on this old energy guide on the back of the refrigerator and it says it's doing or it's supposed to predict uh, 953 kilowatt hours to use a refrigerator a year. That's way off. This thing's almost almost double or triple. It's old and it's starting to get worn out and it's just not as efficient as it used to be. So when it dies, I'll probably get something different. But that's kind of the, the spec on the refrigerator and that's why I want to try to keep it somewhat clean. This is a screenshot from my energy monitoring system. As you can see over all the months, this is what the uh, refrigerator uses, way above the 953 that it's Energy Star rated at. And also during the summer it really sucks, uh, it's 200 kilowatt hours, in the winter it's about 100. The January 19th date, that's a hiccup in the energy monitoring system, so that's not really accurate. I wish it was 9.4 kilowatt hours, but unfortunately it's not. This is the filter I use for my refrigerator. It's basically a window air conditioner filter. You can buy it from Lowe's or Home Depot or Amazon. and it's pretty much perfect for what I need. It lets fairly decent airflow through and it also cleans the air. Okay, this refrigerator has been running for about, I don't know, three months or so. And you can see the amount of caked on crap that gets sucked in. This thing's so inefficient, it runs almost, I don't know, 18, 20 hours a day. I'm gonna keep it until it dies and I'll get another one, but until then, um, I'm gonna keep what I got. But this is the, the, the grill here that goes into the underside of the uh, refrigerator and the coils are behind there. So what I did is I just built a filter. Um, let me pull this off here. And then, like I said, at about three months, you can see this is sticking up against the refrigerator here. Okay, here is the actual uh, filter, it's just a, the, kind of a black, coarse uh, filter you can use with the window air conditioners you can buy from Lowe's or Home Depot, but here you can see this, the dust and gunk, it's really just caked on there. But if I didn't have this in place, this would go all back inside my coils and get them all dirty, and then I'd have to uh, clean them out, and in the meantime, the electricity bill would go up because the compressor would be working harder to clean the... I'm sorry, to uh, pull air through and keep cooler air in the refrigerator. So uh, this definitely does work. I haven't seen any uh, negatives on it. It doesn't really restrict uh, that much flow. Well, it does if you let it cake up really bad, but this doesn't really do a whole lot. I haven't seen a whole lot of airflow reduction. But again, this is just, you just take this, pull it off, and then clean those. Alright, so all you gotta do is drop it in the sink, turn your water on, and hose it off. Okay, this is the back of the refrigerator fan. I've got a little anemometer here. So this measures the speed of the air flowing through the fan. I want to see if there's going to be a big difference between having the filter on and having the filter off. So it kind of fluctuates. It looks like uh, seven, 
739 or 737, I should have got 22750. So uh, now I'm going to take another video of what it's like with the filter not installed. Okay, here's a shot with the filter taken off. So it looks like the CFM has gone up a little bit from the mid 700s to looks like uh, nine something. And this actually isn't uh, CFM, it's um, linear feet per minute so you can convert that into CFM. These are the calculations that I use to go from linear feet per minute, which you've seen on the anemometer, to cubic feet per minute. And the, cal and the, the equation is linear feet per minute times pi times r squared, which is a radius. I believe it's a six inch fan, so these are the calculations I came out with. And it looks like I get a roughly a 16% reduction in airflow when I put the filter on. It's not horribly bad, it's not horribly good, but I think the uh, fan can handle that reduction. Here's a picture of my coils exposed. They're not squeaky clean, but they're pretty decent. So the filter actually is working. You can see by how much dust it's collected that it's working. All right, here are the uh, clean filters installed. And so now all I gotta do is put the grill on and this will be good for another couple months. Okay, hopefully this helped somebody out and please like and subscribe if you like videos like this and I can post some more energy saving videos.